How's everyone doing? So, as you can see, we have a few examples that we need to deal with here. Now, when you first look at this board, don't be intimidated. Okay, we're gonna go through these one at a time. So um, just bear with me, and we're going to learn how to work through this, all of these examples together, okay? All right, so we're gonna look at number one. As we knew on, and as we found out in previous videos, this is a quarter note, okay? That's a quarter note. This is a pair of eighth notes, all right? Okay, now when we say a quarter note, when we're speaking on the beat, we're going to call that do, and we're gonna call the eighth notes, a pair, a pair of eighth notes, the pair of eighth notes, we're going to call them do, they okay so if you need a little extra help uh, figuring that part out feel free to look at the videos before this one um so it won't be too confusing okay because we're going to run through it so remember when we speak quarter notes on rhythm syllables and rhythm syllables is just do and do days right now that's when we actually speak it out speak out the rhythm all right the quarter note is going to be do and the pair of eighth notes is going to be do day all right So, as you can see, each number has four beats, okay? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All of these have four beats, okay? Even the quarter rest we see here, that's still a beat. Remember, it's just a beat of silence. You don't do any, you don't say anything on the quarter rest. It's just simply a, a tap, okay? Don't say anything. Now, if you look at all of these numbers carefully, you will notice that there are blanks on some of these beats. That's a missing beat, okay? I'm going to say it for you, but you're going to have to figure out what is the missing beat. You have missing beats all over the example, okay? And it gets a little bit trickier the further down we go, all right? And on number 10, there are, we are you have to figure out all of the beats, okay? But before we get to that, let's start with number one. All right, so I'm going to say it on rhythm syllables, and you're going to have to guess what beat is it. It's either, you're only going to have three options today. It's going to either be a quarter note, a pair of eighth notes, or it's going to be a quarter rest, like we see over here. Once again, it's either going to be a quarter note, a pair of eighth notes, or a quarter rest. Those are the only beats that, that is going to be missing today, okay? So between those three options, you have some choices here, okay? Let's start with number one. Do, do, day, do, day, do. Again, number one, let's go. Do, do, day, do, day, do. Once more, here I go, and do, do, day, do, day, do. Now, um, before we move on, if you'd like to get some pencil and paper to write, on, write these down or to keep track of them, feel free to pause the video now and do so, and we can move on. Unless you want to do it all from the top of your head, which is also okay, but for some, it may help to actually write these down. Please do so if you need to, okay? Go ahead. And now for the rest of us, we're gonna move on. For beat three, and the reason why I say beat three is because that's the beat that's missing. Beat one is here. Beat two is here. Beat three is here, but it's missing. And beat four is here, the quarter note, all right? So, All right, so beat three is missing. Remember I said do, do, day, do, day, do. Have you guessed what beat three is yet? Yes, beat three is a pair of eighth notes. Beat three is a pair of eighth notes. 
So if you're confused as how I got that answer, um, like I said, go back and look at a couple of other videos to see why that is what it is as far as why that is a due day. Okay, why that pair of eighth notes is a due day. But beat three is the pair of eighth notes because I said due day on beat three. All right. Number two. I'll think, then I'll speak. Do day, do, do day, do. I'll do it again. Here I go. Do day, do, do day, do. I'll try once more. Here we go. Do day, do, do day, do. Did you guess what beat two is? Because that is the one that's missing, beat two. We already have beat one. We do not have beat two. We already have beat three, and we already have beat four. Now, if you said beat two was a quarter note, you're correct. Beat two is a quarter note. That is the note that is missing, because I said do on beat two. Do, day, do, do, day, do. So once again, if you said quarter note, you are correct. Now, number three. Do, 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 do day. I'll do it again. Here I go. Do, 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 do day. I'll do it one more time and here I go. Do, 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 do day. Guess what beat four is? If you said a pair of eighth notes, you are correct. All right. And the reason why beat four is a pair of eighth notes is because on beat four, I said do day. Beat one is a do quarter note. Beat two, I said another do quarter note. Beat three, I said another do quarter note. Beat four, I said do day which means that is a pair of eighth notes, do, day, okay? Once again, if I'm going too fast, feel free to pause if you need an extra little, uh, a little extra time to try to guess your answer because this is for you, all right? So um, like I said, just pause the video if you want more time to guess the answer if I'm moving too fast, all right? That's perfectly fine. Now, we're gonna move on to number four, okay? Things are starting to, going to start picking up. It's going to start getting a little bit trickier. So let's follow along. Number four. Do, do, day, do. I'll do number four again, and here we go. Do, do, day, do. Number four, here we go. Once more, and. Do, do, day, do. Now, some of you may think, I didn't hear you say anything on number on beat number one. I mean, sorry, on beat one, Mr. Burton. I didn't hear anything. You just did this. And that's right. I did just do this. But remember, anytime I do that, that just means I'm giving credit for a beat being there it's just I'm not saying anything and which ones have we done that we don't say anything on yet the quarter rest I rested on beat one do do day do so if you said quarter rest on beat one and number four you are correct on beat one and number four is a quarter rest. Do is on beat two, which is the quarter note. Do day is on beat three, 
and do is on B4, which is another quarter note. So quarter rest, quarter note, pair of eighth notes, and quarter note again. Okay? All right. So number five, as you can see, now we have two blanks. We have two blanks, which means you're going to have to figure out which two beats I'm missing. I have beat one and I have beat four. I have beat one and I have beat four. So we need to figure out beats two and beats three. All right, let's begin. Do day, do day, do, do day. I'll try it again, here I go. Do day, do day, do, do day. Here I go again, one, two, three. Do day, do day, do, do day. Pause and write down your answer if you need to. Now, if you wrote a pair of eighth notes or drew a pair of eighth notes for beat two, you're correct because I say do day on beat two. Do day, do day. Right here, I say to do, which is on beat three, which means it's a what? Quarter note. Do day, do day, do, do day. Okay? So if you have that excellent, excellent job, you're right on track, okay? Now, number six, you have beat one missing and you have beat four missing. So you have the beginning and the end of the uh, measure missing, okay? All right, let's see how it goes. Do, do, do day. I'll do it once more. Number six. Do, do, do day. I'll do it once again. Do, do, do day. Pause if you need to to write down your answers. Now, if you said quarter note for number one, which is a do, you're correct. And now for beat four, I did this. So if you wrote or drew rather a quarter rest, you're correct, which is just you go at an angle, just in case you need help drawing it. All right. In a way, it's almost like um two heels and I'll show you a picture of a quarter rest at some point okay because I know it may be a little tricky to see with the marker all right all right it's so almost like two um, slanted ends connected by a, um, a, a a cursive end in the middle a smaller cursive end okay so or two C's you know except um, they're slanted but we'll deal with that later okay so like I said if you have a Quarter note in beat one and a quarter rest in beat four, you're absolutely correct. Let's look at number seven. Let's look at number seven. We're almost at the end. Number seven. Do, do day, do day, do day. I'll do it once again, here I go. Do, do day, do day, do day. All right, so what did you get for beat two? Pause if you need to, then come back. What did you get for beat two? If you said do day, you're correct. And beat four, if you say do that right, do day right there, you're also correct. Okay. Do, do, day, do, day, do, day. Now let's look at number eight. Now, number eight has three missing, three beats missing. 
We're almost at the end because it's getting trickier and trickier, okay? Number eight has three beats missing. Let's see. Do day, do day, do. I'll do it once more and do day, do day, do. Last time, here I go. Do day, do day, do. Pause if you need to. What did you get for B2? Pair of eighth notes. What did you get for B3? Do, which is a quarter note. What did you get for B4? I didn't say anything. I tapped to let you know it was a silent beat there, even though that <laughs> wasn't as silent. It's a quarter rest. All right. Excuse my horrible quarter rest drawing today. It's a quarter rest. All right. Now let's look at number nine. Only two left to go. Number nine. Do day, do day. I'll do number nine once again. Here I go. Do day, do day. One more time. Number nine. Here I go. Do day, do day. Pause if you need to. All right. So. We have beats one, two, and three missing. We have beat four, which is quarter rest. What did you draw for beat one? If you said quarter rest, you're absolutely right. Beat one is a quarter rest. Beat two is what? A pair of eighth notes. A pair of eighth notes. There are two in a pair. That's why I'm saying pair of eighth notes. Good. And for beat three, you have what? Another pair of eighth notes. Excellent. Do day, do day. Now, last one, and then you'll be completed. You're there. Last one, number 10. All right? Let's see how we do. Do. <laughs> Let's try number 10 again. Do. Last time, number 10, and here I go. Do. All right, pause if you need to. All right, let's look at number 10. What's in beat one? If you said quarter rest, you're absolutely right. Beat two. If you said another quarter rest, that is good. You're right. Beat three. That's why I said a do, so you should have drawn a quarter note. And beat four, another quarter rest. All right, so if you got all that right, excellent job. Okay, and remember, a quarter rest and quarter notes are very similar. They both are beat, at least in the time signature that we're in now. We're going to talk about that in another video. But they're, all, they're, they're pretty much the same. The only difference is quarter rest is silence. Quarter note, you can actually have a sound, okay? quarter rest, quarter note. Now, if you got them all right, excellent job. Some of you might have gotten better the more we made it along these, and that's excellent as well, okay? If you need a little bit more practice, feel free to rewind and play through the video until you get it, okay? 
Good job, everyone, and have a good day.